Hey, it's been a while. I've been trying to film a vlog and a million things have come up in the way. I've just been sick for like a week. A friend put it that like colds are hitting different these days and it was like that. It wasn't COVID. It was like an earache, brain fog, no energy type of thing. It was not fun, did not enjoy, would not recommend to a friend. But it didn't last forever. Who would have thought? It's nice to have your brain back and your capability back. It's currently a Friday. Feeling a bit lost at sea. Uh, not really inspired at all to do work. This cold sort of hit like at the end of a lot of things. And so I'm not only like getting back into work, it's like, no, do a lot of thinking and use extra motivation and impetus to start things. The weather's been really nice, but also concerning because it's so warm. I feel like I really need a holiday, but um, being sick is also like a holiday, but just a really shit version of it in that you get like a circuit breaker and a break from your life, but you're not having a good time and it is really tiring. So I probably still do really need a holiday and a change of scene. I'm also just feeling like I need to do a lot of work, but it just feels so overwhelming and so unappealing. Anyway, I wrote half a piece this morning. My brain was working. I can still write. I haven't completely lost that. Amazing. And I am planning to go out and buy some things, ingredients to make some food, test some recipes for my next flush sale, gently get the ball rolling. I'm also in like dire need of a friend moment, like the weekend I got sick was a slightly annoyingly expensive one to get sick on because I had plans that I'd made like a month in advance with friends. I miss like seeing people and being included and doing things. I'm just waiting for my mum to get back so I can use the car and go get a bit of gourd. I also am after a pair of swimming goggles and a cap because I really want to get into swimming. Um, I need a shake up in my physical activity um, 
regime. No, still do hot yoga and Pilates, but both of them are getting a little samey samey. And I looked up the prices of public pools, which there are quite a few of around here, and they're really reasonable to my mind. Like they're less than a class and you're paying to be in a heated pool for an unlimited amount of time. My main hang up has been though, like I hate bathers. It's like a, has always been like, I don't feel comfortable in what I'm wearing, but. I recently got a pair of Speedos, which are like boy leg, racerback. Um, but yeah, the cap and goggle situation I used like when I was 18. Surprise, surprise, does not suffice. Going to do that and then enter my outdoor pool swimming era. I learned a fun fact the other day, and that was if you're at your desk and trying to stay focused, compression socks, which I've always been like, yeah, whatever, because daggy, can really help with circulation and like getting stagnant blood, I guess, around your feet, like pumping around. And it made me twig, oh my gosh, I don't feel like I can do something. Like I get instantly sleepy if I don't have shoes on and I know different people, well-founded um, vibes on shoes inside. But if I will like write an essay or something, I might like eventually take shoes off so I can like put my feet under me, but I need shoes on in the initial thing to like feel like I'm doing something and I don't enjoy cooking without shoes on for a similar reason. I'm like in a too like relaxed mode if I need to like pump something out. So yeah, any tight thing on your feet can help you focus. Also heard a great joke the other day, wanna hear? It's a real like five year old kind of joke that a kid would say, what type of bees produce milk? Boobies. <laughs> Sorry about my wet hair. The Caramel Lemongrass Tofu Center, 14 out of 10, so delicious. Bitter Gourd, however, is really bitter. <laughs> my mum and I conceded, our little white asses were struggling. I don't think I've grown up with many bitter flavors, but stuffing tofu in the middle section of a vegetable, a concept I will carry forth forever. I'm really glad I tried Bitter Gourd. It's just, um, yeah, very bitter and my just taste buds just couldn't do it. Not a fail at all. I'm very much enjoying cooking my way through Plantasia. Um, I've mentioned it a lot on Instagram, but just to be briefly excited about it here, it's Pamelia Chia's latest cookbook, which is self-published. Pamelia is Singaporean. They used to live in Melbourne. Um, the beautiful town near Melbourne called Dallasford. They currently reside in the Netherlands and this cookbook is like magnifique. It's just, it's a vegetarian journey through Asia documenting um, already existing techniques, flavors, methods of cooking with vegetables across Asia. 
95% of the recipes are vegan gluten free or customizably so there's a bit of input from other chefs with different backgrounds. It's such a vibrant exciting book and I'm an Australian stockist. I don't know if there are other Australian stockists um, but I am. I have a few copies left so if you're interested it ships October early November when they arrive to me but they've just been shipped so it's probably more October. Yeah so just for Australian dwellers but it would make an incredible Christmas present like it's Hetty McKinnon level of vegetable mastery. I've made lots of recipes and shared them on Instagram. The vegan gluten free um, dumpling recipe has become like my favourite. making tofu out of split peas. Mm. Incredible summer rolls with black fungus mushroom, which is actually delicious and not as scary as it looks. Crispy strips of oyster mushroom with Chinese five spice um, and Thai basil were 11 out of 10. So yeah, details in the description box but this type of thing requires a lot of out-of-pocket costs so there are only like single digit number of copies left because Pamelia has been directing her people to it as well. I'm gonna have a really good sleep and try not to overheat because it's that time of year where the seasons are blending and you inevitably can't get the doona bedding situation right but we do our best. <laughs> was fun not exhausting at all my grandmother has dementia and I was elected by others to bring up um, the voice vote here which is happening in a month and um, talking about politics with my grandparents has always been a bit at odds but it was like she doesn't even know about it so I was just trying to educate her we covered side topics to that topic which you would never know were relevant um, <laughs> Anyway, I don't know if I made any impact. I have vertigo from that conversation. 
Yeah. <laughs> Since I last recorded, I made the plunge to buy a fidget. I bought a Tangle and now I use it all the time and wondering why I didn't get it earlier. But I'm also someone who kind of hates fidgets because they became really big in schools just after I graduated. So I associated them with this like dispensable consumer, just like the next playground thing. No connection to like their original use. Um, yeah, associated with them like 13 year old boys, which is fine. But um, but yeah, they are plastic and I also feel like I have sympathy for Merlin that no toy is like strong enough. This one does come apart all the time. You can pop it back together, but it's like not gonna last forever. So that side of it sucks, but the biggest difference I've noticed with it is that I helps me like not touch my face or like I guess stim in a way that I'm like itching my skin. Love that. And when I take it to therapy, I don't become dissociated or like go into a freeze like response, which is really common for me. So evidently it does work in that respect. Um, yay. <laughs> um, even though I resisted it for so long and I really don't enjoy, I don't know, unmasking in that way in front of my psychologist. But anyway, it worked and just something to consider. <laughs> um, if for some reason you're in the same boat, I don't know. few days later now I just wanted to finish the vlog by doing the scary thing of going swimming in a public pool only scary because like it's a new environment so there's like social anxiety and I haven't been swimming in like five years like I swam as a kid a lot but yeah there's just the initial like oh change in atmosphere we're in a aqua environment <laughs> I don't know what my fitness will be like because it's quite aerobic isn't it 